everyone, I'm Leo. <coughs> Today, I'm going to tell a story. The, the name of the story is The Mystery of the Missing Peas. One day, <coughs> there was a boy named Mickey. He is a zookeeper. <coughs> he takes care of all the animals in the zoo. He brings them food, water, and washes them, and also cleans the cages and sweeps the floor. <coughs> Every morning, Mickey the zookeeper wakes up early and gets dressed. Mickey goes to the shed and to get breakfast for the animals. <coughs> the animals' favorite food is peanuts. When Mickey gets to the shed, unlocks the door, he goes inside and fills up the buckets with peanuts. One very cold morning, Mickey got breakfast for the animals, just as he always did. <coughs> when Mickey when Mickey went inside the shed he found that the peanut bags are open and some of the peanuts were missing <coughs> every day <coughs> more and more peanuts were missing so Mickey decided to call a detective. He will find out who was the thief. The, the detective named Goofy. He picked up, he packed up all the things he need. When you are a detective, you never know what you, what you need, Goofy said. Detective Goofy got to the zoo. He, he asked the zookeeper questions. Only the zookeeper has the key. And Goofy looked all over the shed for clues. He takes out his magnet from glass. And then he found a small hole. The thief must have come in through this hole, said Goofy. <coughs> they also found peanut shells on the ground outside the shed. <coughs> and then he had them to stand in line by the hole. Whichever animal can reach the peanuts must be the thief, said Goofy. So, one by one, the animals tried to reach the peanuts. <coughs> the zebra tried, and next, the bear, and next is the hippo. But they can't reach the peanuts. The elephant tried, but his trunk wasn't thin enough. <coughs> the monkey tried, but his arm wasn't long enough. The giraffe tried, but his head wasn't small enough. <coughs> The kangaroo tried, but his tail wasn't long enough or thin enough. So who could it have been? Then Goofy had another idea. He opened his bag, took out his tools, Goofy hammered the nails into the wall. He 
wound the string around the nails and tied one end of the string to the belt. Tied another end of the string to the peanut bag. Then Goofy went outside, pouring blue paint in front of the hole. <coughs> that night, Goofy decided to sleep in the shed and waiting for the thief. When it stopped, the thief came to the shed. Suddenly, the thief fell on the string. The bell crashed to the floor. Dun, and wake Goofy up. Stop where you are, said Goofy. <coughs> Goofy ran out the door to find the thief. But he was too late. The thief was gone. <coughs> but there are eight footprints in the blue paint. Along came Chip and Dale. They told Goofy an octopus has eight feet. Then Goofy ran to wake up Mickey. Wake up! Take me to the octopus, said Goofy. Go Goofy took the peanut bag and went into the water. He tried to give the octopus a peanut, but the octopus wouldn't take it. Goofy got out of the water. The octopus hates peanuts. The octopus couldn't be the thief. As Mickey and Goofy went, went back to the shed, they passed two bales. Look, those two bales just made eight footprints. Said Mickey. <coughs> Goofy sought and sought. Went past. He went past the tree. He saw Chip and Dale standing on the branch. Aha! Now I think I know who took the peanuts! <coughs> Said Goofy. He hold his magnifying glass and made Chip and Dale show him their feet. <coughs> their feet were blue! You took the peanuts, Goofy said. <coughs> Chip and Dale took Goofy to their underground nest and brought all the peanuts back to Mickey. If you like peanuts, you have to work for them. Mickey, Mickey, old Chip and Dale. Mickey gave them a brew, and he made them his helpers. Every day, Chip and Dale helped. Clean up the zoo. When they finished, Mickey gave them all the peanuts they could eat. <coughs> Cheap Chip and Dale loved peanuts, and all the animals love peanuts too. What a happy ending! The end. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.